lovely people it's christina and welcome to my channel and for my curry crew that's watching welcome back if you're not a part of the curry crew make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can join us because over here all we do is encourage and inspire while having fun at the same time so you guys in this video i am getting ready to re refresh my puff but i'm going to do a little cute hairstyle so if you're interested in seeing what it is and how it turns out then keep watching because i'm going to get started with that right now okay you guys so i'm just getting ready to refresh my puff because i have been wearing this puff for about i think basically the whole week so um yeah i'm just gonna do this real cute hairstyle that i saw on pinterest um i'll go back and look for her name and i'll make sure i put that down in the description box below so you can go and check her out but yeah so i'm going to do is switch this over to a voiceover and just show you guys right quick how to do this little cute hairstyle with a puff and um i hope you all enjoy okay so all i am doing is taking my scarf off and then all i'm going to do next is just take this tie out of my hair that i had my puff put in so that i can get started so next i'm going to go in with my boost curl refresher spray just to spray this on my hair to give it some more moisture because my hair was starting to get kind of dried out after working that um leave-in conditioner in really good the next i'm going to go in and oil my scalp with the 10 in 1 hair oil and then I'm going to add some water to my hair to make it a lot easier for me to detangle. And I'm just going to, to detangle with my wide tooth comb. So after detangling, I'm just going to part my hair from ear to ear. And you guys know how I am with my parts. So you're just going to see me right now just trying to get my part straight. Then when I think I got it straight, I looked at it and it was crooked. So then I had to go back in and fix that because that was bothering me. So that's all I'm doing right now is just trying to get my part straight. Alright, so after I got it as straight as I could get it, then all I did was just put a head um, scrunchie on the back of my hair to keep that out of the way. And then next, I am going to part my hair down the middle. After I get it parted down the middle, then I'm going to section off two small pieces in the front. Once I got those two pieces sectioned off, then I'm just going to spray my hair with some water to reactivate the product that's already in my hair. And then I'm just going to twist those two up. Alright, so now I'm going to start working on one side of my hair and all I'm going to do is split that side in half so I can get started with the style. Now what I'm going to do different from her is I'm going to section off my um, edges because you guys know my edges are really really thin and I did not want to flat twist those. So all you're going to see me do is section off the edges close to my ear and then I'm just going to twist those up. Next, I am going to start on that first piece that I um, sectioned off and I'm going to flat twist it going up towards the top of my head instead of flat twisting it down like I usually do. And then I'm going to do the same um, thing with that back piece, flat twist it going up. And all I'm going to do is the same exact thing to the other side that I just did. Alright, so when you get done, you should have a piece hanging if you choose on both sides by your ears. And you should have two flat twists going up on both sides of your head along with the two um, twists hanging in the front. And that's the way it should look when you get finished. Now all I'm going to do is take the flat twist and I am going to crisscross them so that it'll make a little crisscross pattern in the top. Now in order to hold her crisscrosses in place, she used bobby pins, but I used a rubber band instead. The bobby pin wasn't working for me, so that's why I did the rubber band. Alright, so now that I am done, I'm just going to tie all of this out of the way and we are going to get started on the puff in the back. Alright, so all I'm going to do is spray some more water on it, comb it up with my wide tooth comb just to detangle it some more and spray as much water as I need so that I can get ready to slick it up. And I'm going to use my Wetline Extreme Clear Gel and I'm just going to put, you know, big globs on my hand and then all I'm going to do is just take the uh, gel and smooth it around the edges um, so that I can get ready to put this up in a ponytail. After I get the gel on my hair, then all I'm going to do is brush it up with my brush and then I'm going to put my um, 
tie back in which is for me it's just an old tight that I use I cut off my daughter's um, tights and I'm just gonna use that to tie my hair up all right so once I got my hair tie in then I'm going to do is just take those two strings and just wrap them around and tuck them in the back So now all I am doing is putting my scarf on so that everything can settle into place while I am sleeping. And I did try to lay my edges and I have no idea why because I was getting ready to go to bed. But anyways, yeah, I just put my scarf on and let everything settle and let the gel, um, you know, sit in place and dry overnight to keep my puff looking neat. Okay, so now it is the next day and all I'm going to do is spray some water on my puff and comb it out so that I can fluff it and shape it and try to get it as big as I possibly can. Once I have my puff picked out to my liking, all I'm going to do is take some hair jewelry and stick it on my flat twist and the two twists in the front just to try to give it a little pizzazz and make it look even cuter than what it already is. All right, and then once I have my hair jewelry in, all I'm going to do is take the two twists in the front a loose and just let them hang just like that, like my little bangs. But anyways, you guys, this is the end and this is how this hairstyle turned out. I thought it was so super duper cute when I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, I have got to try that. But like I said, I just put my own spin on it and I didn't put my edges in because I didn't want to be flat twisting those with them being thin. Also, I'm not sure if I may mention, but she did hers on, it looks like an old twist out or something. Um, but I wanted to do mine on, you know, I didn't want to do it on a twist out or anything like that. So yeah, I really, really did love this style. When I did it for my birthday though, I did do it on stretched hair, but I actually like it better um, when my hair is not stretched for me personally. But I love this style, you guys. Um, I hope you liked it too. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that button down below so you can become a part of the Curry Crew. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And until my next video, you all enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you in my next upload. Bye!